mean, yeah, Brab is the goal. <laughs> yeah, but. Yes! Today's Restart. love, I guess. I can't. I can't. Like a You're allowed thing. to laugh. I know, I just am scared. Okay. Welcome back to Gavin with Gab. Today we have Miss Molly Munn with us. Hi. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Molly. I know who you are. I'll probably a lot of you know who she is, like but in case you don't, in case you don't, Molly, I would love for you to give them your little life story, little life history. How did, how did you end up on this feathery couch? Um, I was born in 2002. Just kidding. Um, where do I start? That works. Um, to Susan and Joel. To my parents, Susan and Joel in Cincinnati, Ohio, not in Terrace Park. Nope. Um, I went to Walnut Hills High School, not Marymount. Different side of the planet. <laughs> but Gabby and I did theater together, and that's how we met. Yeah. At CCM. Yeah. What, and you danced before that? Yeah. Yeah. I danced in a theater my whole life. And now I'm in college doing that. Where? IU. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's, I mean, that's, that's <clears throat> the brief and short, the long and short of it. Yeah, that's kind of it. So now you study musical theater. Yes. In the BFA program. Yes. Yes. And what do you want to do? Like, do you have any idea what city you want to go to? Or They don't really, like, the average person doesn't don't know, know what theater. it means to, like, be a study theater in college. Like... I like what is your schedule like every day like well I have my dance acting and singing classes and uh, but like what do you do like what do you do in a dance class what do you do in a singing class like on Monday Wednesday Fridays I have my dance classes okay majority so I wake up at eight this is just last semester but this is my busiest semester I woke up at like seven and then I had ballet so I walked to ballet which is not in my theater program it's like in the ballet program and then I, I had just said Joffrey close enough What's Jacobs Jacobs <laughs> um it's like the Joffrey ballet the Joffrey ballet school I actually danced there <laughs> um and then I would go to my theater dance class where I would like I'd already be warmed up but like ballet is so different that I would do like a jazz warm-up mm -hmm. and then that was my styles class so we did like the beginning of musical theater dance rather than like Fosse and like all of the most recent mm -hmm. stuff so that happened that was my dance day and I would be there to like one like mm -hmm. eight, eight like nine to one I'd have dance and then Later, I'd come back and have different classes at night. So that changed every night. Like, I'd either have voice or I'd have a class with just my class of 2024 class. And it was called Broadway Cabaret. Or I'd have master class with my whole program. Or I'd have, like, tap. Like, it's, like, all over yeah. the place. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I had all my acting classes. So I had an acting class that was just acting. It was scene work. And that wasn't through my program. That could have been anyone. And then... I had a singing acting class that was just my class of 2024 with the head of our program, and we, like, learned how to act while we sing. It sounds so, like, it, like sounds basic, so but it's so nuanced. And then my third class was a voice and speech class, which is, like, technically acting, where we do, like, Shakespeare and, like, dialects and stuff. Right, but you didn't go to a musical theater, like, high school. No. So, like, what was your training before school, and then, like, how how did you like decide I'm gonna do this in theater or, like I'm gonna do theater in college? And, well, like, I did the stuff in high school, but like just the shows, and then I'd have acting classes at school, but that wasn't really anything. I guess well, we did CCM together, and then every Saturday, every Saturday morning from either eight thirty or nine till oh god, that sounds horrible one thirty or two Saturday morning. We would go. We would really go. Except the last year when we did. Yeah, but that, really doesn't, go. that doesn't matter, though. Um, well, because of that program, I knew I wanted to audition for schools. Yeah. Just we, like you did. It but... was kind of cool because we joined as freshmen. <clears throat> we had to audition to get in, and then we had to re-audition every year. Even we knew we were going to get in. Mm -hmm. And there was, like, Imagine freshmen. if we didn't get in. <laughs> like, junior year. That would be horrible. See, we would have just, like, burned there. No. Continuing. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to watch, like... Freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. So they were all in the program. So mm. we got to watch the seniors go through college editions every year. So I felt like I had a I good understanding like of I had what to. it was. It was not like a forced, but if I did an audition for programs, like, it would, why like, would be you wrong. be in the program? Yeah. The, the program that we did at CCM Prep was very like training you for college auditions. Yeah, like kind of all of it. And they tried to act like it wasn't. But, but like it was. it was. And that's like okay. That's fine because that really helped. But 
And that's I just like kind of knew like I had friend like our friends Maddie and Taylor that were seniors when we were freshmen. I definitely they think the older college. people made an impact on us. Oh like, yeah, for sure. Like where they went to school, proving we could actually do it. Yeah, but I knew from then that I wanted to do that, and then I mean I had some doubts. I didn't go. I I almost didn't go to school for theater, but I dropped theater. <laughs> I don't Yay! Know. <laughs> I almost didn't do it when I I almost went into uh, pre physical therapy. Yeah, I don't even know how to Kines- say it. Kinesiology. Kin- I used to call it, I used to call it kinesiology. <laughs> yeah, I almost went to Ohio State for that instead of theater. Yeah. So I had some debates. But you started in dance, and then yeah, I always danced. And yeah, because I started in ballet, and then I started theater when I was like nine or ten. Yeah, I did second grade. So, like, around the same... I don't same, know how old I was. Around the same time. That's normal, though. I feel like people that do theater, like, usually to dance something or before. Or yeah. Like, sing when they're little. Um, and I'm still dancing. Like, this past semester, as a no longer a musical theater major, I was still in the musical theater dance classes, which was really nice, because I think that's part of my life I'm never going to stop doing. Dance, yeah. Yeah, if I were to drop, I would still, like, want to do a dance Like, especially for, like, after college, like, the kind of workouts I, classes I want to do. Like, I, I love dancing. It's also just, like, normal. That's how your body reacts to, like, working out is, like, dance-wise. Right. Well, it's just, it's so I would fun. never sit down and, like, work out and, like, lift. I would, like, do an ab workout that, I've, like, I did at dance. I've tried to... I've lifted a few times, and it's okay. It's it's not the same, though. But I feel like it's because dancing is, like, where I started, and then dancing became, like, every dance class. Mm-hmm. With the pressure, when you do theater as your major, it's, like, you're training all the time it's on your brain like all the time yeah and you feel like if you don't put enough effort in it's gonna like react in wrong ways in the end you want to have each class you want to make the most of it there's like a little more pressure it's less now for me i'm just god there is yeah there's so much pressure i never think about that well don't because then you'll (laughs) oh god (laughs) because it just no that's true like but i also hurt my foot so you were out i was taken out of it completely and yeah when i broke my foot i loved dance so much more when i came back I love dance, but I was like, I don't want to feel... I just want to dance to dance. Because mm-hmm. now that you know... When you know something can be taken away from you like that, you just, like, want to be able to enjoy it more. That was so deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so now you go to IU. Yeah. And how did you pick IU? Let's... Should we do, like, a brief and short college audition process? Oh, yeah, trauma. Yeah, we haven't spoken about <laughs> this <laughs> we in two years. Um, Rewind, 2019. Well... Basically, there's two rounds, three rounds for college. I mean, like, kind of, You apply to the normal college, like, what everyone else is doing, Mm -hmm. but you apply to more because... You have to do, like, double. So, like, for one school, let's use... I use an example. I had to apply to IU as a school academically, just as everyone else would. Yeah. And then on top of that, I have to apply to their program, like, separately, rather than just, like, applying... And then within there could be, like, one or two rounds. Yeah. So then, like, IU had pre-screens, which are, like videos you send in rather than like just auditioning in person Mm -hmm. so that was like the first round but i had to like write an essay for them like you have to do way more on top of just the regular application it's insane like i I I was looking back at like my notebook of all the essays i I think i wrote like yeah 30 and i spent so much time just like typing essays writing about myself all the i like don't even remember doing that like i well i also applied to you did way more than i did yeah i did the academic side for like 20 schools I guess I only did really, like, 14, but I applied to some schools I could not Because I ended up doing academic side after, like, unifieds for some mm-hmm. of them. Yeah, but then you go and do in-person auditions. Yeah, well, pre like, first, though, like, that is so weird because you have to, like, time it, right? Like, some of them are due at different times. It's just so yeah. whole. Like, while you're doing essays, you're also having to, like, film and stand top so of that. so stressful. And then you're, like, waiting for your <clears> results <throat> because you can't book your plane ticket to the school for the live audition until yeah, you Yeah, or schedule your audition. So you're, like, waiting, and then it could be, like... Like, I definitely got some results back and went to the pre-screen, like, with in, like, a three-week turnaround, I feel like. Your audition? Yeah. Like, for Syracuse, didn't we hear pre-screen? Yeah, I guess that's true, but then, like... I feel like it wasn't that big of a deal because it was, like... It's just normal. a lot of money. It's just so It's, it's so just expensive. so expensive, which, honestly, online auditions are, like, way cheaper, so... They suck, but oh it's, well. It sucks, but, like, it's way cheaper. Yeah, so we had to do pre-screens and then in-person ones. Mm-hmm. So, where are we going with this? College auditions? How We were talking about how you ended up at IU. So... Oh, yeah. We did in-person auditions. Um, we, I, we also both went to Unified in Chicago, which I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. It definitely is. All the colleges go to, like, the same cities, and you can just... You have your planned auditions, and then you also have places you can just walk in if they have a time. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and I did 10 auditions in three days. What? I did like four. <laughs> I know, but you left the day before me. I know. And I did like four walk-ins. I can't, I, why the, why did I go to Unifieds? I had literally I had loved four it. auditions. I loved it. And that's, <clears throat> I thought it was fun. Yeah, it's so fun. You're like, it's definitely a weird sense of like competitiveness and fun in the air though. Yeah, but some people are way more competitive than other people. It's okay. Um, yeah, so we did our auditions and then you wait and you hear the results and let's say you apply to 20 schools, you'll, the chances you get into one is like two. Pretty good. Like, well, no, the actual chances are like 2%. Really? Yeah. We just know people. There's just so many bad people we don't like think about. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) People that like haven't been trained that we don't think about. Not like bad. That is so weird to me. But. Yeah, because like everyone I know went to a prestigious camp with me. Like that's like, and they all go to top schools. Right. (laughs) That makes Um, sense. But from, <clears throat> I got into two, and you got into three. You also got I got Yeah, I got waitlisted at, like, four or five schools, and then I got into... I only got into Kent State. But then you got but then I got But then I got into IU. I got into... I got... I was on a million wait lists. A million. That's so weird to think about. I know. Syracuse, Arizona. So your last two... Then, so your last choices were... Kent State, IU, and Ohio State. Yeah, because right? that was, was your academic. Yeah, that was my academic, and I wasn't. I had the Ohio theater. State and Miami for my academics. <laughs> but then I had to debate all throughout quarantine if I wanted to pay for IU, and that's why I almost went to OSU. Right, because it is a f- commitment, and that's another reason why there's like that pressure because you realize you're paying for it. Like this is mm-hmm. your college degree. But Molly's talented and always has worked hard, so it's not like thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> it's not like a big. She doesn't have to find ways to motivate herself because she's self-motivated, I feel like. And Sometimes. did you also pick IU? Like, why else between Kent State and IU? Like, for people um, that don't know those two schools. For Kent State and IU, my brother goes to Kent State. I never wanted to audition <laughs> for Kent State. No hate on Kent State. Kent yeah. State. No hate on Kent State. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> no hate on Kent State, but I just never really wanted to go to school in Northern Ohio. Like, I wasn't a huge fan of the school itself, and I, like, I feel like... I, like, did so many less schools when I auditioned because I was so picky about what I wanted. Like, I really wanted to go to a Big Ten school where there was, like, football and a social life, and I wanted to be in Greek life, and I wanted to, like, have other things outside of my program that I could do other than just be doing musical theater because I never have just done musical theater. Right. And so Kent State was like that. Like, that you can, it's, like, kind of all you can do. Mm-hmm. And they have it Greek is, life, but I don't know much They about do, it. but it's not, like, huge, and it's not, like, a big thing and I feel like a lot of people in the theater program really don't do it Mm -hmm. so uh, that was a big thing I never really wanted to go to Kent State and it was just like my option and then it was just nice to have an option yeah and it was I got I was gonna go for free so that was another like guilt trip that I made by going to IU (laughs) Um, but then I always liked IU because it was really similar to the schools that like I had really wanted from the beginning and then it's a big school like I could have like other friends outside of my program as well as like a really great program Mm -hmm. and like I don't know everything I said football and everything so you did end up rushing though yes you can you can share I was gonna say I don't know if you (laughs) want to say what's for any delta I never actually do that and you had all mine rush completely all mine Uh because it was last it was last year around this time oh my god that was this year last year you've been a Katie for almost a year Hey, <laughs> and now she lives in the house so she she's not yeah. just like in a sorority like she lives in a sorority house which i feel like is very like different and cooler yeah it's way more fun yeah if you don't i feel like if you don't live in it, it's just not fun it's like you're still part of it but i think like, it's you're like, not though sorry I feel like at the dorms miami dorms, People in my sorority don't see this would be like <laughs> like at miami like the <clears throat> sorority dorms you don't like live that's in a house same. but it's like very similar that's the same yeah. thing you live on the same floor as everyone else you're still surrounded by them yeah so what is it like living in the house you have a roommate i have a roommate her name's holly holly and, and molly you did you know her last year yeah i actually knew her before katie because oh i didn't know that because one of my friends was dating her roommate and they lived underneath me in my dorm so oh. my friend that was dating her roommate would like bring her roommate over with her so they would like come hang out in my room and then i know we weren't really friends but but now you are but now we are her, now we are right and then you eat like in a big cafeteria yeah we have like a dining room okay <laughs> <laughs> have you never have i never given you a house tour no oh, I mean, i've so seen awkward. pictures but like yeah don't we look. have like a big dining room and then we have like the kitchen and then there's like if you're like if you were to be like at a cafeteria you'd like go and like scoop your own food on the plate like that kind of thing like right it's along the line but we have chefs they're the best they're super nice shout out clark and christian <laughs> 
<laughs> we're like gonna watch this. Some um, of the pod. Um, they're the best. Um, a lot of other houses don't really have good chefs. Like, uh, there's been lots of scandals of them like quitting in the middle of the year and people just don't have food. Oh, that's. But um, they're the best. They make us breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, even the weekends. A lot of houses don't have food on the weekends. Do you ever get overwhelmed being around all those girls all the time? Like, mm. or is it nice because you know you have your separate set of musical theater friends? Like. It's nice because I have two sets of things, and, like, if I were not to be gone all day at, in classes and, like, not to be with my other friends all the time as well, I think I'd get sick of it. But then again, like, you could also just sit in your room. Like, you don't have to, like, be with right. everyone all the time. I do get overwhelmed when I'm, like, worried about getting sick or, like, I, like... Right. Like, just because of theater, like, that. Like, I wouldn't care if I wasn't in theater. But you need to watch your voice and... Yeah, like, whereas, like, if I'm on vocal rest, like, everyone... I'm in the hallway and everyone's like, hey, hi, and I'm like... And you're like... It's, like, so awkward. Or, like, the chefs will be like, good morning, and I'm like... I think one thing <laughs> similar... It's so awkward. But I think one thing we have in common is we both need to be, like, doing multiple things. Yeah, I can't Like, just we do never are just friends with, like, one group of people. Mm-hmm. But what's kind of cool is that you've infiltrated, like, both... In high school, you were, like, in two main... Two big groups for mm-hmm. me. Because we were theater friends, and then we also became... Like, we're way more than theater friends. Well, you had your friend group at your high school. Yeah. And then I was, like, your friend from theater, and then I hung out with you guys so much that I just was a part You were actually friend Caroline's group. friend first. Yeah. My little sister. Way back. Our- we were in... <laughs> Our- She's in the other room. <laughs> just we, kidding. We're still friends. We all three hang out sometimes. Yeah. But, like, you, like, l- get... L- oh, whoa. Gabby's friends from friend. high school are my friends now, too. Like, we're all in the same friend group, but I didn't, yeah. I didn't know them... Unless I would Until it was, like, senior year, probably. No, I was friends with Lauren, like, freshman year. Oh. Okay, yeah, because then you started, we started hanging out more, and then we also did, um, we did Music Man? Was that the- Music Man, that summer. Why would that have something to do? What? I was just trying to think of what, how we were still, like, why we were, we were so close all the time. Well, because- (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just really sad. We're just really funny. Um, well, I guess some summers we weren't super close, but, yeah. like... but we've always... Until, been... we, until we had not have our license, it was hard to hang out in the summer. Yeah. Because we'd, like, still see each other on the weekends at CCM and, then, like, hang out after. We'd but always... Yeah. I guess that's true, like... We used to go to Starbucks after MTI. It's... No, we go to Cane's, too. Oh. But I haven't had Cane's since I've been home. But yeah, we would do stuff, we'd hang out, and then when we got our license this week, now we just drive. To yeah, but I'd, like, houses. spend the night here, and, like, Lauren would come over, or, like... Right. I didn't really meet Peyton until junior year or something like that. Yeah. But then I was, like, infiltrated in their friend group. And then, like, so infiltrated that she would go to, like, <clears> events <throat> with us senior year, like... Yeah. To people's houses. And then she met all of our guy friends, and now, with COVID, since she knows Caroline and I, she was one of the first people that we were allowed to, like, hang out with. Florida! And we did go to Florida together. That was fun. I know. I want to go back. I want to go back, too. We went to Siesta Key. Yep. And we all got super tan. I you were going to say we all got COVID. <laughs> yeah, that too, actually. We yeah. all got super tan, and it was really fun. I forget where I was going with this. Um, oh, we also did a few shows together outside of CCM. We did Music Man, and we did Mama Mia. Yeah. Oh, what we were saying is that... I had different friend groups. Oh, yeah. But then on top of that, like, I had all my friends from high school. And then you have different friend groups at high school. Like, and then I, I had I, yeah, my I'd cheer have, friends, and then I had mm-hmm. my theater high school friends. Yeah, I had my, like, friends that were, like, I don't I don't even know how I was friends with them, like, how I was friends with them, but I was just friends with like, like, my friend your, group. your hallway friends. Like, my friend group. And then I had my theater friends, my choir friends. Like, my, and then I had my dance friends. Like, and I, I always, like, so love much. that. I feel like people don't always take it. People advantage don't. That doesn't of, like, happen to people. It's, having like, different friend groups. But I love it. That's very unique just to us because we do so much. Honestly, that's one of the reasons why the turbo was so hard is because I only had one friend group. And I obviously, oh God, like, I never thought about that. liked my friends in my friend group. Like, I'm still really close with some mm-hmm. of them. But, like, I was with the same people all the time, and I've and never you lived been with like them. that. And, yeah, and, and so living hard. with people in close quarters, like, it's so fun. It's not like I was sick of them. I just, like... Needed more, too. Yeah. I it was normal. Yeah. At least for us. Which is, again, why I'm excited to, like, be involved in a lot of different stuff at Miami. Go Red Hawks. Okay, so let's, like, take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, okay, so, like, besides social life and besides, like, your class schedule... At school, like, what's your, like, career, like, goals? Because obviously it's, like, oh. to work, like, to be an actress. But, like, yeah. what are the kind of things you want to do? Where do you want to live? What would be, like, your dream scenarios? Dream scenario would be to book a national tour. 
out of college. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's not going to happen out of college. I mean, you could. I mean, it could. It could. Book me now. Anyways. Molly, my like that. New Annie. <laughs> <laughs> At 22 years old. No, because Molly got stereotyped in high school because she's short and she can sing well. So, who did y'all did you play? Little Red. Little Red. Penny. Little Sally. Oh, Sally. Who Penny? Penny. <laughs> um, and uh, that's it. I mean, Dorothy. Dorothy. She's not like a child, though. But the braids. The braids. There was the whole joke that she always had the two braids yeah. and when she was... Love it. So I'm going to book Annie with the red one. <laughs> right. Okay, so... I would, I, I would like to... Like, I would rather do that kind of stuff outside of college, like right out of college, or like in my young 20s, because yeah. obviously I'm not going to want to do that later in life. When like, you have a family. And... Well, I don't know if I want a family, but... Right, like, but like, if you were a, if I change my mind, if you had a significant other, even yes, like a cruise or I can't get it, or a national tour with that. I want to live in London too. Really? Yes. Oh my god! Have you ever told you that? Cheeky. I've I told you like a million times. Oh, I said the pig. <laughs> I just want to live on. Like I would do West End shows, but I don't really think they like hire American actors. No, they don't. Oh. Well, like, they might as a dancer. What if I get one with a British accent? <laughs> they would never know. You could just fake it. I mean, yeah, Broadway's the goal. <laughs> yeah, but, like, what's your, like... But I want to, like... Do you want to dance on Broadway? Do you yeah, wanna I want to dance. Be a lead? I don't like, want to do you want to swing? Lead. Like, I would swing. I want to read that book. You don't have it, though, about swinging. I feel Sydney like you're s- very smart, and your yeah. swing Bibles would be pretty. Mm-hmm. Like, all your notes and stuff. Well, we did a swing stuff in class this year, and I was the dance captain, so I had to learn every part. Did you, like, like it? Did it make your brain hurt, or? I mean, I don't like to do that much. It was one number. <laughs> and, like, everyone knew what they were doing. But, like, it's not even exposed to it, at least. Yeah, at least I know a little bit more about it. But I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be really stressful. Yeah. But I think I deal with anxiety well. That I, like, it's more of, like, you're really nervous if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, and you And, like, you have to put in the work, but, like, yes, it's going to be nervous doing things for the first time, but. Yeah, the first put in. Yeah. Um, but then what about choreography? I've kind of lost passion for that. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know why. I like how you laugh at yourself. It's okay it's if you It's kind of dark. I don't know. I think that it was, like, I was, like, not forced to do it in high school, but, like, I was always asked to choreograph the shows. It's just, like, both of us it was trying more to fun. find opportunities. I don't have time to do it. That's the issue. We like to find opportunities to, like, advance or to, like, learn something new. So in high school, yeah. when they were like, oh, can you choreograph? You're like, of course I can. Yeah. But I, you've done a good job with it. Yeah, I love choreographing, do you but... Think if you were, like... Do you think you would do it again for, like, a main stage show at IU, or... They wouldn't ever, like, let me do that, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not a thing. But I would... I don't know. Like, me in college, thinking about it, like, there's, like, the, like, student-run productions, mm-hmm. and a lot of people choreograph for those. I just don't, like, find myself having the time to do that. Especially, like... This and year, I feel like yeah, and I felt like when the last times that I've choreographed things, they've been like on me, and like for me, and when I think back to like choreographing shows at Walnut, I like hated that. Like I like choreographing like it's like very therapeutic to do it for myself and like do it in like my own style. Yeah, but when I have to do like musical theater like jazz hands like that's stupid first of all and second of all like formations and like. Doing people that Being can't dance. A lot. Like, it's hard when you have different hard, levels. Yeah, and I just don't miss but that. professionally, you would have similar levels. Yeah, but that's like, I don't know. It's just very competitive. Yeah. But I like, feel like you, you, have always, have, you have to have your own style to like really be successful. You could always, like, would you ever teach dance? Like, Yeah, I would teach. Like to younger kids? Or? Oh, I, that, I mean, I've talked about that with my parents. That like I would, I'm not too younger. Like what? Like, like I would love to go back. People your age or? I would like, my dance teacher at school was in Wicked for 11 years. Mm-hmm. And then she went and got her master's and now is our dance teacher. Like, I would, like, want to do that. Like, I'd want to go teach at schools. Right. Like, college. Like, college. That would be cool. I know. Or I could just be a physical therapist, but, like... Yeah. But you could also teach... So then yeah. you would get to choreograph again. Yeah. Like, I would never, like... I mean, that's always, like, like gonna be something... combos versus shows. Like, what... Combos yeah. are way more fun than shows. Okay. Shows are so much more stressful because you have to, like... Take into account. You have to take into, into account the plot and characters and like where everyone's standing. Like it's I don't know. Maybe just I had bad experiences in high school, like with like communication with the director and stuff. It's hard when you don't know how much like yeah control you have. Yeah, when you don't have and, enough control and also like the building of the plot, like some numbers can't be that. You don't know who's all in it. Like it's just like really complicated. Yeah. 
And I don't miss that. But I did like, like, I used to do this choreography, choreography stuff that. at dance. Like, I really don't. That was really <laughs> traumatizing. Um, but yeah, I like doing stuff like on me. And like, we did that in class last year. And I, I, I like doing that. Are you taking choreography at school? Like, are you a dance mm -hmm. minor? No. Do you have a you minor? You have to take like modern are you a geography and stuff. minor? <laughs> Wish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were. No, that was a joke. Well, it wasn't at first. But <laughs> <laughs> You're like, but it wasn't. I actually really wanted to be one, but then I realized I could just play map quizzes on my phone. Um, That's literally what Nick and Mungo do. That's so embarrassing for all of us. Um, yeah, I have like four different apps that I like to play on, but I wanted to be a I was going to ask about your mi Do you have a different minor? Do you have any minor? I was going to do a minor in arts management. Because my parents wanted me to do a minor, mm -hmm. but they haven't brought that up in a long time. <laughs> and it's, like, too late to sign and up for one. So, like, I totally could do it because it's, like, easy to do because I, I have so many AP credits. But also, like, no. I don't really want to. Because I feel like people, at least in my program, the people that take more academic classes... Like, I take the bare minimum of academic classes, which is, like, fine, because I'm not, not going... Really, it's not smart. She no, is I'm smart. very intelligent. She already has AP credits. So. Yeah, I'm very intelligent, but I'm taking the bare minimum that I have to every year because, well, number one, I have a lot of AP credits, which is, like, very unusual, and then mm -hmm. number two, I, like, I'm in dance classes, which I feel like because I've danced for so long and, like, I'm the... Ad I'm one of the advanced dancers in my program. Yeah. I have to be in more dance classes than other people. Because mm -hmm. you need to push yourself. Because I need to be in more and, like, be in harder ones. And, like, be in more to, like, keep me active. Because I yeah. used to dance even more in high school. Because we used so, to dance, like, so Yeah, I mean, much. I used to dance, like, what, 20 hours a week? And now I don't even know what I dance. But yeah. the people in my class, like, technically in our program, like, there's, like, one required dance class per semester that you have to take. For people that are yeah, like, so it's like at, out of their comfort zone. It was like zone. the same at Turbs. Yeah. Turbs. But I, <laughs> that sounds like a slur. <laughs> um, the Turbo. But. And then like second semester yeah. I took three. Yeah. So like versus like people in my class that aren't dancers, which is like, they're amazing at everything else. They like, just, they only they're only in one, they have to, but or... that's like, but they're also like improving in that because that's like already new to them already. But it's like when you're repeating stuff, it's better to yeah. take more. So like I kind of take the same dance classes every semester, but like, you but, but, but I've been like. I, I've been in the advanced ones since my first semester of my freshman year. So, like, you can't, like, I can't, like, improve to those because I've right. been in them and since. And the teachers continue to push you, do you Yeah, think? no, for sure. And it's not, like, with, like, there's, like, levels in, within those classes. So yeah. I feel like I still learn a lot. But I'm in, like, three dance classes versus one. And that's, like, what, nine credit hours? So that's already half of my credits. And then what else do you and then, like, you have last classes semester, you're required to take. Yeah, then I had to take my, like, required semester classes for my program, mm -hmm. which would be, like, my acting class or my voice lesson or master class, or, which is, like, my whole program. Just, like, a lot of, like, random ones. And they don't really have that many credits to them because they're usually, like, once a week. Yeah. But then on top of that, I don't have room for academic stuff. So if I, like, I usually take, like, one academic class a semester. This year I'm doing two. What are you taking? Um, I had to start French, which is gonna kill me. And then wait, how many semesters of French? Four, take? and I'm like way You're behind. Lying. Why do you have to take everybody that I use to take four? Well, in my program. Uh, wait, maybe everyone, but people do semesters abroad, and you is can it like global appreciation course. Yeah, probably, but yeah. like in my sorority, when they they don't have the same theater like stuff as I do, obviously, but. You can get rid of your foreign language requirements by doing it in a semester abroad. Yeah, it's probably a global yeah. awareness thing. So uh, we have to do four. At least that's all I know. I don't know if that's honestly the same for everyone else, even if you don't go abroad. But, like, my friends were in AP, like, yeah. in high school. But I just didn't do languages in high school because I'm stupid for some reason. But Wait, um, didn't you take French? I took French for two years, but I did the minimum. Oh, and then I, I was, took Mandarin for three years. I just didn't take it senior year. Yeah, I didn't take it senior year. And then I, when I did it, I was behind the whole time because I took an accelerated class and I didn't know, like, the basics. So I just was, like, really behind the whole time. And you're just, like, sponsual. Yeah. You were literally Emily in <laughs> and Paris. And I was like, hey. You were literally <laughs> Emily in Paris. Did you watch that <laughs> No, show? I haven't seen it yet. It's, like, so stupid. I watched I the first it. episode, or I watched the first, like, ten minutes and I don't, I didn't want to watch it. No. You have to, like, you have to watch it knowing it's stupid and then it's better. Okay, maybe I'll You can't take it, it seriously at all. My mom loves it. I think it's kind of funny because, li like, Lily Collins literally produced her. the show just so she could run around Paris with Ashley Park, wear cute outfits, and make <laughs> Wait, out with I hot didn't, boys. I didn't know that. Oh, I mean, that probably wasn't the main reason, but, like, that's she what she gets it. to do. Yeah. That's fun. She basically set herself up to get to do that, so. That, I would do that. Do, would you, blah, blah, blah. you said you live in London, but would you ever live in Paris? 
I don't know. Do you like France? I never, I've never been. I've never been to France. Where have you been? Italy? Italy and Germany. Germany. I forgot yeah. about that. I you were a baby. The door does that. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really young. But that was be like a program. That wasn't like just like on a trip by right. myself. But I don't know. Language barriers kind of freak me out. Yeah. Like there's just like too much in my life. Like when I went to Germany... My mom had to like make me like a printed thing and like saying I had all these allergies. Like if I can't right. if I can't communicate, I don't want to be there. That would stress me out. Like I would imagine wouldn't... how people feel like when they come here. Yeah, but that's their own choice. Like it'd, well, be, it'd be my people... choice to go live in France. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I get that. I guess I just like think there's so many. I guess if you were there on business, you would have like a translator. But yeah, they also speak English. Over a there. lot of people are well. It's English. a first language usually. Because they learn it throughout grade school. We're just uneducated here. Yeah, America's, like, not the best <laughs> at education. It's okay. We're so smart. In some aspects. <laughs> so, yeah, that's something we kind of glossed over, but Molly's allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of them. It's like I do, too. And that's another reason that was, why That was, like, one of the friends. first reasons we bonded. Yeah, we both have inhalers. I'm like, can I use it? <laughs> here. <laughs> kidding, I don't need it. Um, and we're both allergic to nuts. And it was, like part of this game oh, of like were you there that day that we got ice cream from graders yeah you always talk about that but i, I have think, no memory of it okay i know what happened so the, the first time i ever hung out with anyone related in this family the tollison's yes um i hung out with caroline because mm-hmm. we were all gabby caroline and i were all in the same program yeah at ccm and, and caroline were in the same like part. yeah but yeah but caroline and i had like mutual friends that i had known from before and oh, i was like really? new, i was like new to this program so like i met caroline we became friends and then the first time we ever hung out um it was after that program on like saturday and joan mrs Tolson took us to greater just me and caroline we we're talking about nut allergies and like everything and then i was coming to your house to hang out after I almost said to play. I was like fully in eighth grade. <laughs> to play. <laughs> no, but that's like what I would say. Um, we and I remember. Play set. Yeah, we'd hang out. I'd yeah. play. I'd play on it. <laughs> um, but I remember you. Blake came to come get you. Your dad came to come pick you up. Which also, I just think it's stupid that you guys would have two separate and parents come pick graders. you up. Yeah, because and you were so like I. I hated Gabby. Yeah. I hated her. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I hated her because she like was so much more mature than me and like thought she was the best yeah, she just boyfriend. had an ego <laughs> she had an ego in the room and um molly could dance better than me and i had a i got a dancer role and i didn't and she was just really bitter <laughs> no, i didn't even know the show i didn't care about the show um, but um i remember you being like in your room and like just sitting in your room Instead of, like, playing with and you And you were, like, pouting and, like, pissed off that something was happening. Was I? Or did I just not want to talk to you? I don't remember. It's okay. I, I remember your mom I talking to, to me about really periods and being like, have you got a period a couple years ago? And I was like, I still haven't gotten mine. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I, have you gotten it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would get really tired after CCM. Yeah, like, you still, you guys, I feel like you still did, even in high school. Yeah. I would always need a nap before something else. But I remember you, like, coming home and, like, not even, like, leaving your room. Because you were, like, watching TV in your room. And I was like, what? How does she do that? Like, yeah. God, she's so, like, and bratty annoying and annoying. And, like, and, like introverted. Old. I was like, she's so old. Like, <laughs> but we're, like, the fully the same age. We're fully the same. I'm older than you, though, by six months. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything when you're in the same grade. Okay. I know. <laughs> Especially when you're going to graduate before me. Yeah, most likely. Caroline will too. I'm kidding. Shut up. <laughs> It'd be so funny like, to graduate yeah. the same year. <laughs> She'd hate me. I would steal all of her spotlight. <laughs> me at Carson's graduation. How can I make this about myself? Um, what's weird is this summer, probably not going to be here. Hopefully. Sorry, but not in a weird way. That's in a, and in we've a successful always way. been in the same like place. Mm. We have. Even if we were yeah, busy. but last summer I was gone half of it anyways, and I was working the entire other half. But like, I still we were, saw I never you, saw so, you. But until until you left for IU. But, like, saw, barely. Think about every single time you text after hosting, I'm just going to drive to Gabby's. True. I did not miss that. Yeah, Molly um, lives kind of far away. I live so far. Not even, but it, it's, like, kind no, of a fun it's, drive. But okay, like, it's a fun drive when you guys do it once a month. And Molly comes I out. I drive like, literally every like single day. I was here yesterday. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she and, was like, I am not coming back to record the podcast. I'm- yeah, and I was mad that I had to drive over, but it's okay because I wanted Skyline. It's kind of weird being back and living with your parents for a few weeks. Yeah, but I would have done that anyways. Like, I don't like, I don't want them to see me cry. No, not, not like that. Just like, well, yeah, I guess. But also just like in general, being back in your house is weird. Do you not think it's weird? I think I thought it was really weird when we came home. It was so weird when we came home last year. Because we were home for so long. Well, it was just just weird because we had never been in a... That was the first time I'd ever come home. I didn't come home for a fall break or anything. Oh, I came home for like a week. Yeah, I I didn't do that. So like when I came home with like all of my stuff from my room, I was like... I I remember sitting in the bathroom and being like... What? Also, the toilet seat is so much lower at my house than it was in my dorm. (laughs) Did she fall? Like I just... I would always like expect to be sitting and then I had to like sit a little more. (laughs) That's, like, the biggest thing that I always take away. But I think the ones at my house are the same um, I think as when my I house first now. come back to my room, I'm like, this doesn't feel like my room. But then after oh, a few weeks, it way. does. I think I always... It's always just weird. Like, I, I always just, like, feel weird being back. The first day is always really weird because I just want to see people. And then usually I'm the first one home. And you're also usually the first one that has to go back, though. Yeah. Because, like... Well, Dane goes back in a week, but... Yeah, but I always go back early because of things, like, that I've chose to do. Like, I went back... But it's exciting. It's like you're going back yeah. for... Like, you did Footloose this summer. Yeah, like, I went back to IU for a show this summer in the middle of July. So, like, I wasn't at, I wasn't home. That was really sad. But I came home every week. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gone. But yeah, you were gone every time I came home. Um, yeah, Molly and I didn't see each other for five months. Really? Um, or four. No. July to November. Yeah, that, I don't know how many months it is. Four or five. We're, like, we're, like, we so could really count, but time. instead we're just gonna be, like, four. Four or five. Like, with us, it's, like, we're used to, like... Because we didn't go to the same high school, yeah, we're used to not talking all the time and still feeling close. Yeah. And also, we don't talk about, like, everything. I also don't really we don't talk to, to people. T- we don't need to talk about everything to, like, be friends. Yeah, and it just comes up now. Like, I'm not, like, I know. I feel like we don't hide things either. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Molly's very honest, too. Yeah. Which is a good thing, I think. It's really my only... Unless you're trying to pick out an outfit and she hates all of your clothes and you're just like full... Well, I'm still helping you. <laughs> <laughs> By telling you not to wear something. Uh, not that I have great clothes either. Yeah, you are pretty much an open book, I feel like. So we both did theater in high school and we both auditioned for schools together. Like college? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So like... Where are we going with this? Were we ever like competitive? I was ever competitive towards you. But I don't. Oh, this is this is so. This is actually drama. <laughs> Lauren told me that you and your mom, when I was on the waitlist at IU, would talk shit about it and be like, "She can't even afford to go there. She should just say that she doesn't want to go there so <laughs> Gabby can have a spot." When you just like were on the waitlist. waitlist. So I was mad about that for a few months, but yeah, but it wasn't that you didn't even deserve it. It was like, "Bitch can't even pay for it." <laughs> yeah, like rude. <laughs> But I can because I go there. <laughs> and you're like, and now I go there. Um, That's funny. But that was the only sense of competitive. We, like, I don't think we we're really... We're not as similar as people think that we... I don't think anyone really thinks oh. we're that similar. Or, like... Yeah. We did MTI together forever, though. But were we ever competitive in MTI? We were, like, like competing we, for parts. We were only competitive to stand in the front in Julie's dances. Yeah, but that wasn't our choice. And we it, wasn't like, like, it wasn't, like, a competitive thing that we could, like, do ourselves. Just something we both wanted. One time Molly and I sing a duet together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but in show, I guess when we auditioned for, like, shows, we still weren't going for the same roles. The only one we did was Music Man. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't have been that role anyways. I mean, you could have. Yeah, but, like, they didn't know me. So it, yeah, did, no, it didn't, it didn't feel had, wrong to, like, I was for you to get it. Oklahoma. Like, yeah. where the costume designer was literally, God, you, like... You, you, your ego that year, to the roof. <laughs> I had to have something going for me. Yeah. It was sophomore year. <laughs> behind the scenes, I haven't hit that point yet. Because <laughs> behind the scenes, there was a, a lot. Yeah. Should we go there? No. <laughs> Before we go, hit me up with your dream roll list. I Let's don't go. really know. Can I look at my phone? Yeah. Okay. Not just dance oh, wow, hearts. So many. It's been like an hour. So many notifications. <laughs> so popular. Okay. <laughs> What is this called? I think it's called Bucket List of Roles. Lazel Sound of Music. Check. Serena, Serena Legally Blonde. Oh, fine. Um, Eponine and Lamez. That's, I don't really want that anymore. But, like, if I were to be on that show, that's what yeah. I would Yeah. Little Red, I've already played. Um, Check. Into the Woods. Maggie and Course Line. 
Um, n- no ensemble parts. You could say them. Okay, um, just the nicest kid in Hairspray. Which one? Like, Lorraine? Oh, I don't really care. I was like, cute. You were in Hairspray? Oh, for CCM? Yeah, it wasn't like, I actually really sweaty. did. I did at a summer camp. Um, Nessa and Wicked. That's, like, probably number one on this list. Um, Anna Frozen, I don't anymore. I'm deleting that while we're speaking. Really? Of. Yeah, I don't. I don't. What do you know about love? So that's so Sydney. Yeah. And she's saying that. She would be so. She'd be such a good Anna. Oh, I just, God, there's so many people that like fit that and I just don't. Um, Millie and Millie. Oh. Carrie and Carrie, I'm deleting that now too. Which I'm doing this spring. And then Ensemble in Chicago. And then oh. Anne and A Little Night Music. But there's so that's much more. That's a good more. list. There's so much more that I just don't put on there that like. I've always wanted to be, when I did theater. <laughs> when I did theater. <laughs> I you was, still can! Right. I always wanted to be, like, a ti- titular role, like, where my name was in the title. I never was. Like, what would that be? Millie. Oh. Is that it? Like, no, there's Carrie. one. Like, the Little Mermaid. <laughs> That's not... Ariel's just not in that. Like, why can't I think of any? Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. I don't oh, know. so you mean, like, a lead? <laughs> no, like, the, I, like, for some... It was, like, weird. When I was little, I, like, wanted my name to be, like... Like, frog and toad. Like, I wanted to be frog or toad. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't really desire that. You don't like being leads? Mm-mm. I mean, like, in high school, if I didn't get a lead, I'd be a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, saying, like, if I'm a senior in college, like, yeah, I don't. Like, if I'm not the one of the leads, I'm a little, like, that's kind of an issue. Same in high school, but, like, that's because of, like, a growth in training. It's based on talent. It's, like, yeah. based on, like, who's there. Not, like, who you're best necessarily, yeah. like... Like, if they were, if it was not just within my college program, other people would be playing that role. But if I, if, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't. I mean, obviously I would, but I just don't. I'd rather dance. Yeah. We'll keep you updated with my Molly Ends Up. You're going to get a random post on Instagram. Molly Books. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Gavin with Gavin Instagram. Frog and Toad. Follow the Gavin with Gavin <laughs> TikTok. Follow Molly on Instagram. Any other platforms you want to show yourself out on? Um... Tinder. Okay. <laughs> I actually don't need um, And then you can follow me too, but most probably for a gab with gab. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for coming on. Thanks. You're welcome. And we'll see you guys next week with another episode. They come out every week. Yeah, but I dropped Kennedy's early as like a little New Year's treat.